Parker? Where are you? Why haven't you shown up at the hospital yet? It's been more than six hours since I had our baby. Do you not want to see your son? Do you even know you missed the birth of your son? I I'm praying you aren't in any kind of trouble. Please reply, Parker, please. Sarah, I'm so, so sorry. Oh my god, there you are! What's happening? Are you safe? Is everything alright? It looks like I had a heat stroke. I can't believe I missed our baby's arrival. What? Heat stroke? Uh, are you okay? Where are you right now? I'm in the hospital getting an IV. Uh, I'm feeling much better now, but I have a massive headache. I don't even remember how I got here. I guess I was unconscious and someone called an ambulance. I just woke up a few minutes ago and saw your messages now. Sarah, thank you so much for delivering our beautiful baby. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so sorry I wasn't there to support you. It's okay. I I'm so relieved that you're safe. I have to apologize too. I was irritated when I was in labor and sent you so many angry messages. I was in pain and didn't know where you were. I didn't mean any of it. I know, honey. It's all right. I'm sorry I broke my promise to support you through labor. You must have felt so lonely. I let you down, didn't I? No, you didn't. I know you didn't get heat stroke on purpose. I'm just glad we're both okay. My mom is here with me. Would you like for her to come pick you up at the hospital? I'm sure you're not in any condition to drive. No, that won't be necessary. I'm finishing up my IV in a minute and on my way back. I'll take a cab home and get changed before I come over to you. Are you sure? Shouldn't you be resting? You shouldn't push yourself too hard today. Why don't you stay at home for the rest of the day? But I really want to see my son. Parker, it's only been a couple of hours since you fell unconscious, right? Just because you had an IV doesn't mean you're all better. You shouldn't underestimate a heat stroke. Just get some good rest today, please. I mean, the baby is not exactly running away. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to see my son. I'm so sorry, Sarah. None of this should have happened in the first place. I should have been more careful. You don't have to apologize anymore, honey. I'll send you some pictures of the baby later, okay? Yes, I would love to see him. How are you doing so far? Were you able to rest since? My body is literally torn. I don't think I can do another round anytime soon. <laughs> and no, I haven't caught up on any sleep yet. The adrenaline kept me up this far, but I haven't been able to sleep since I got into labor, so I am really sleepy now. <laughs> I bet you are. I am in awe of your endurance. Do you need me to pick up anything for you tomorrow? Or are you getting discharged? Or are you getting discharged tomorrow? Actually, can you pick up some facial packs I keep in the bathroom? The nurse said I might have to stay tomorrow as well, since I had a lot of bleeding. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that. It's nothing unusual. Uh, sure, I'll bring you your facial pack. Just one? Yep, just for one night tomorrow is fine. Don't plan to stay any longer anyway. And I would also like something sweet. Okay, done. I'll make sure to pick up something sweet for you. But if you're not feeling well tomorrow, you don't have to force yourself to visit, okay? Promise me you will listen to your body. I promise. Uh, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Well, I think my headache is going away now already, so... You have nothing to worry about. I'll also make sure to stay out of the sun for a while. Gee, I can't believe how hot it was today. Or for the past couple of days. You should be careful, too. Yes, it's been excruciatingly hot these days. We should both be careful, and the baby, too. And it's still hot now, so keep the AC on. It's going to be a humid and hot night today. If you feel that something is wrong, get help immediately. Oh, I'm so worried you're going to be home alone after you were taken to the hospital. What are you going to do if you faint and no one will be there to call an ambulance for you? Why don't you call your mom and ask her to come by? No, I'll pass on my mom coming over. I would feel restless if she was around. Mm, if you say so. 
All right, well, don't forget your promise this time. Get some good rest. I promise, 100%. If there's anything, I will let you know ASAP, so don't worry. Okay. They took the baby for some checkups now, so I'll call you again when he's back with me. Until then, make sure you get some good rest too, honey. You are the one who just pushed the baby out. Thanks, Parker. Talk to you soon. Parker, are you still at work? What time are you coming home tonight? Sorry, I'm going to be late again tonight. I have so much work left. I'll do my best to get back before midnight. Midnight? Parker, I really think you've been overworking lately. I haven't seen you at night for so long. Well, I don't exactly prefer it either, you know. I wouldn't be working so late if I didn't have to. It's work. I have to finish my assignments or I will get in trouble. I will look after Skylar when I'm back home so you, so that you can rest. You said that yesterday, but you ended up passing out on the couch, remember? Besides, I feel awful making you take care of Skylar after such a long working day. Yeah, but you made it clear the other day that you're on the edge, too. I am. I haven't had any decent sleep for weeks now. Especially because we haven't really taken turns. So I am thinking about asking my mom to come help us out. What? Your mom? Do you know how long it takes for her to come down here? You're going to make her drive for hours again? She was just here when Skylar was born. She is not in her 20s, you know. We can't casually ask for her help like that. And in all honesty, I wouldn't be able to relax the way I want to if she, would be, if she was around. I know, I get it. What if I ask your mom then? She said she'd help out any time, especially if it's for Skylar. Oh, I don't think my mom will be able to help us. Huh? Why not? If she's helping her uncle out. He got into an accident and got injured, so she's over at his place to take care of the lonely man. Oh, her poor uncle. I had no idea. I'm so sorry to hear this. Is he going to be okay? Yeah, I'm sure he will be. But since she's staying with him for a little while, we can't really ask for her help anytime soon. So I kind of have to ask you to hang in there for the time being until my work settles down. I'm pretty sure work won't be as hectic next month. I'll make sure to get home as soon as possible to take care of Skylar so you can rest. Next month? But... Parker, that's still two weeks away. Oh, I know. Why don't you hire a babysitter? Surely it's not a sin to hire someone so you can catch up on your sleep, is it? You should look into it. But the house is a mess. I would be so embarrassed to invite someone into our house. Come on, Sarah. They are professionals. They are not going to care. If at all, the house being messy would only be a clear indication for them that you need to rest. Get someone to look after Skylar for a few hours, a couple of times a week. You can sleep or go shopping or whatever you please. It would be such a relief for you, and me too, actually. Mm, well, maybe you are right. Okay, why don't I give it a shot? I'll ask my friends if they can refer a good sitter. Good. Hey, is Skylar awake now? He's half awake, but dozing off. He had his bottle a few minutes ago. He's kind of cranky in my arms trying to sleep, though. I put him in his cradle, but he cries frantically every time I do. Oh, he wants to stay in your arms. You're the only bed that he wants. I thought it was the cutest thing at first. I mean, I still do, of course. But it's also driving me insane, now that I have to deal with it like three or four times a day. I bet, Nen. I'm sorry I'm putting you through that alone. Hey... I know this is kind of a weird question, but how many times does he poop a day? Poop? <laughs> a lot. Like five or six times a day. Some days more, some days less. Why are you interested about his poop suddenly? <laughs> One of my co-workers' wife also just had a baby and He told me that his baby is always constipated. Apparently, his wife is totally paranoid about it. How old is the baby? About the same as Skylar? Yeah, I think so, like a month old. Seeing his wife paranoid is getting him really worried too, you know? I can imagine why they'd be very worried, yeah. But I heard that it's common for babies to get constipated. Some babies don't poop for a couple of days, but are perfectly fine. It's just how their routine is, I guess. I see. 
There are babies who might not poop for a whole week. I mean, it's not ideal, but if the baby is happy, they shouldn't be so paranoid. I see. Well, I would begin to worry for them too, so I'm glad to hear that. Um, excuse me, mister. It's very nice that you worry for your friend's baby's digestive system, but... You only changed Skylar's diaper a couple of times. You should be focusing more on your own, don't you think? And on your wife, too. <laughs> you got me there. I'm sorry. I'll make sure I focus on you guys more. Anyway, I should get back to work. Okay, I'll let you go. Don't overwork yourself. And try to come home as soon as you can. Hi, Sarah, how are you? Listen, I really hate to be nosy, but it's really about time you come back, don't you think? Devon? Hi. Um, sorry, but I'm not following. What do you mean it's time I come back? Is everything all right? I know everything, honey, so I hope you can be honest with me. Are you really okay spending so much time away from your little baby? Aren't you worried at all? Spend time away? Well, of course I would be torn if I were separated from my baby. Why, then? How can you just abandon your baby? I'm sorry, but I think you are making a huge mistake leaving him. I feel so horrible for poor Skylar. Abandon my baby? Devin, what are you talking about? I have no idea what you mean. I have never abandoned my baby anywhere. Are you okay? Don't act stupid. I said I know everything. Parker told me. You left Skylar with Parker and haven't been back. It's unbelievable. How can you leave such a fragile life like that? I didn't know you were such a cold-hearted woman, Sarah. Excuse me? Devin, seriously, have you lost your mind? I have no idea what you're talking about. Leave my child? I would never, ever do that. I'm with Skylar right now. Stop it, Sarah. It's one thing for you to leave your baby, and now you're going to lie? What has gotten into you? Stop lying to me. What? You are the one who needs to stop. I am not lying. I am holding Skylar right this moment. I can send you a picture or get on video chat right now if you want. Huh? You are with Skylar now? Yes, he's in my arms. Why would I ever leave him? Devin, you need to explain yourself to me. Well then, who is this baby at my house? Who am I taking care of every day? Are you okay? You're not making any sense. Have you had a bad dream or something? Perhaps you're too tired from taking care of your uncle? Parker told me he was injured badly and that you're looking after him. It's really nice of you, but you shouldn't push yourself too hard. Have you been getting enough rest? If you need someone to talk to, I am always here, you know? What? I'm not looking after my uncle. The only person I've been looking after is Skylar. I've been locked up at home for the past week taking care of him. Parker brought him here because you left the house, didn't you? Parker asked me to take Skylar in until you come back. So I did. But now you're telling me this is not Skylar? Huh? Uh, Parker brought a baby to your house? Yes, I am so confused. Who is this baby if you're with Skylar? I have never left Skylar's side since he was born. Even when I hired a babysitter to rest, I didn't leave the house because I didn't want to be away from him. What in the world is going on? No, seriously, who is this baby then? When did Parker bring you this baby? Probably like a week ago. So that's why he said you couldn't come over to help. What? Uh, do you know something? Only that he lied to me about your whereabouts. Aside from that, not a clue. But clearly Parker does. He's been acting weird ever since I had Skylar. He's never home, comes back past midnight every day. 
He told me it was just work, but I'm starting to think that that is not the truth. Work till midnight? Do you mean he's been coming home late this past week, too, because of work? Yes, that's what he keeps telling me. No, that's not true. He's been leaving work at 5 p.m. on the dot every day to come over to my place and look after the baby. He said he'll be coming before 6 p.m. today, too. Is that so? Let me guess, he told you not to contact me yourself? He did. He said he is handling the situation. And that if I messaged you, you would feel cornered and won't come back. So I've been refraining. But you know, it's been a week now, and I couldn't help it. I needed to know why you left. That's why I finally messaged you today. Okay, I understand. So then, he must not want us to know who that baby is. Devin, I'm going to come over to your place in a little while, if that's okay with you. If Parker arrives before I do, can you make sure he doesn't go anywhere? We're going to get to the bottom of all this mess today. Sarah, are you there? Please, you have to give me another chance. I promise you that I will become a better man. So please don't say that you are going to divorce me. I'm begging you. Are you crazy? You think I can forgive you if you become a better man? You had a baby with your lover at the exact same time we had ours. Nothing about that is ever going to be forgivable to me. We are done. Sarah, you are not listening. I told you so many times already. She wasn't supposed to have the baby. I told her that I couldn't be a father to the baby. I made clear of it. But she had the baby anyway without my consent. And then she disappeared, leaving the baby with me. Oh, no. I have definitely heard what you said, and I fully understand everything. It doesn't even matter if you told her you can't be the baby's father, because biologically you are, right? That part is correct, isn't it? Yes, it is. But I told her I couldn't be in the baby's life. That woman completely ignored me. I don't know how she could do this to me. What she could do to you? <laughs> don't make me laugh, Peter. A woman doesn't get pregnant on her own. If you knocked her up, then you are responsible. Period. You think you can just walk away by refusing to be in the baby's life? Talk about what you've done to her, you jackass. She said she understood. She assured me that she didn't want any trouble, that she wouldn't have the baby. But then she changed her entire attitude about the whole thing. So this can't be all my fault. Now she's asking me to take a DNA test. She is trying to corner me to get child support. You know, I don't really care what she wants. You can settle that with your lover. It's none of my business. Keep me and Skylar out of your mess. You and Skylar are the only people in my life who matters to me. The other woman means nothing to me. She doesn't do any chores around her own house. She doesn't even have a regular job. I don't even think she's a type who wants to build a family. You see, I don't want her. You're the only woman that I want. But you did have her, didn't you? I don't know how long you've been seeing her, but you did. Now you want to talk low of her? Honestly, who the hell do you think you are? I don't mean to stand up for her or anything, but I am starting to feel bad. I never knew what a horrible person you are. You are a total scumbag. Look, I was wrong to cheat on you. I never should have done that in the first place. You were busy and I was lonely, okay? I wanted someone to keep me company, that's all. I was never serious about her. She was just a temporary solution. Wow. You know, you should just shut up now. All you're doing is making yourself look worse. Are you really that stupid? Are you embarrassed of the things you're saying right now? Do you think any of what you're saying makes me happy? Wait, that didn't come out right. I'm just trying to tell you that you were most important to me. I wish you would try to understand what I want to say. Well, I wish that you never cheated on me. If you really meant what you said, if I were the most important person to you, then you wouldn't have slept with another woman. You have been irresponsible both to me and your lover. And most of all, to your son. You are nothing but a bad influence to him. I don't want you near Skylar, ever. You don't deserve to be in his life. I will raise him on my own. 
Both of us are much better off without you. The only thing you can do is to take responsibility by paying for child support. No, please, Sarah. Give me another chance. I don't want to have a divorce. What I don't want is you. There is no way I will continue to be married to you. If it wasn't for the child support, which you will pay, I would cut all ties with you. I don't want to see your face ever again. Go on and live the rest of your life in regret that you ever created this mess. I know I messed up. I never meant for any of this to happen. It was all a mistake. All I ever wanted was a happy, humble life with you and Skylar. Why? Why have I ended up here? Why? You're asking me why? You have ruined everything in the most horrible way. Even the good memories have now changed to bad because you are in it. You've even ruined my precious memory of when Skylar was born, too. You were with your lover and her baby then, weren't you? And you had the nerve to ask me about baby poop because you were worried about your other baby. Not once have you asked me how Skylar was doing. So that just tells me that you care more about your other family. Frankly, I don't care anymore as long as you get lost. No, no, that's not true. She threatened me. She said that I had to take care of her and the baby or she'd tell you everything. I wanted to be with you, but she found out you were in labor and I guess jealousy drove her mad or something. I honestly don't know what happened. Sure, whatever. I bet these are all fake stories you prepared. Not that I care, but I don't believe them. I'm telling you the truth. They're not big stories. She continued to threaten me after you were discharged from the hospital. She made me take care of the baby all on my own. Every day as soon as I got off work, I had to go to her place and watch the baby till midnight. I had to do what she said because I didn't want her to hurt you. You didn't want her to hurt me? Yeah, right, you loser. You only wanted to protect yourself. Don't you dare use me to defend yourself. That is so pathetic. I'm not using you for anything. I mean it, Sarah. I didn't want you to get hurt because I love you. Well, you really didn't do a good job keeping me away from harm. Because it's not her who hurt me. It's you. And you hurt me very badly, in case you didn't know. Do you even realize that I have been taking care of Skylar on my own, too? At least you had work to run away to. I've been doing everything by myself since the moment I had him. The only breaks I ever took were the few hours per week when the babysitter was here. You were absolutely useless, passing out as soon as you came home every night. I was so lonely and tired, too. I'm so sorry, sir. I truly am. It irritated me so much that you'd fall asleep as soon as you got back, but I didn't want to wake you up because I believed that you were tired from work. So I sucked it up, no matter how little sleep I've had, for you and Skylar. So you can try to imagine with your tiny brain my shock when I found out that you have been taking care of your lover and your other baby while I was suffering. I'm sorry. You have hurt me enough and betrayed your own family. Both of our parents know and they too believe I should divorce you. And to be clear, there is zero chance of us getting back together. Sarah, what, what am I going to do about the other baby? I can't raise on my own. What the hell? How the hell would I know? Go talk to your lover about the baby, not me. I can't get a hold of her. I haven't been able to for days. I have work. I've been putting off so much tasks to leave the office early. I can't take care of him forever. My mom is saying that she won't take care of the baby anymore now that she's found out what I've done. I'm going insane. I don't know what to do. So you ask me for help? Seriously? Can you be any lower? You feel so sorry for yourself, don't you? You should be sorry for me, for Skylar, and the poor baby who has idiots for his parents. You are not the victim. God, you're driving me insane. I can't believe I have to tell you all this. You did what you did, so be a man already. Should I put him in foster care? You will decide yourself. I am not saying anything about what you should do with that child. I will not let you guilt trip me by telling you what to do. Sarah, why don't we raise it to his brothers? They will be great together, don't you think? 
Excuse me? I think that is the best way for everyone. If we raise the baby with Skylar together, no one will get left behind, you see? It's the perfect solution. What the hell are you talking about? I think you actually have gone insane. I will not take care of you and your lover's child and stay married to you? Absolutely not. You're a mother too, aren't you? Don't you feel bad for him? He's been abandoned by his own mother. I do. He's done nothing wrong. I feel horrible that his mother left him. But the worst part of it all is that his father is an unbelievable shithead. His dad is a coward running away from what he has caused. I can't raise a child working full time. Sarah, please. I don't want to give him up. Won't you be his mother? I'm begging you. You're the kindest person I've ever met. You be able to love him just as you love Skylar with that big heart of yours. It won't even matter that you're not his biological mom. I know deep down you care for this baby's happiness too. Don't let me or Skylar down any more than you already have. Please. It is crystal clear to me that you only care for your pathetic self. We both know you don't mean anything that comes out of your mouth. For the baby's happiness? You don't care about anyone's happiness but yours. I will not be used to lessen your burden. Nor will Skylar, your mom, or anybody. Sarah, I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. I will never hurt you ever again. I will never cheat on you, and I promise to be an amazing father to the boys. Please, reconsider and give me a chance. I know that we can start over and build a beautiful family. This whole mess has taught me very well that you have zero father material. I will never get back together with you. I will raise Skylar on my own, as I have been doing. You've done nothing so far as his father, and it will stay that way. I I'm sorry. Help me, please. I can't take care of a baby on my own. Sarah, are you listening? Please, don't leave me. You made a choice to betray me a long time ago. This is just karma biting you in the ass. For the millionth time, we are not getting back together. Ever. In fact, I'm quite busy caring for a tiny baby. I'm sure you are too, so let's get on with our lives. I cannot help you take responsibility for your decisions. I hope you can at least learn from your mistakes. Whether your baby lives a happy life or not is up to you now. It's a heavy burden, isn't it? Now you know. Finally. Our divorce was officially filed a few months later. I, of course, have full custody of my son now. A couple of weeks after my last conversation with Parker, the mother of his other child showed up and took the baby with her. I bet she couldn't stand the painful reluctance of leaving her baby with an idiot. I will never forgive her for taking part in ruining my family, but as a woman, I kind of understand why she did what she did. It's probably because she wanted to teach Parker a lesson on responsibility, not because she's evil. Now that she too must be a responsible parent, I'm sure she'll live her life in regret for the bad decisions of her past. Until she finishes to pay me consolation money for which I had sued and won. Being a single mother, I know how hard it must be to keep paying me. But I hope it helps her from making any more mistakes and live a good life with her son. Parker is now paying for child support for both of his children. From him too, I've received a good amount of consolation money on top of the divisions of assets from when we were married. The last I heard, he now really does work till midnight every day to pay off his debt. He's contacted me through his lawyer many times, still begging me for another chance. All of which I have completely ignored, of course. In fact, I don't understand why he thinks he deserves one. His selfish attitude blaming his lover for his mess and asking me to take care of his other baby was beyond anything I had ever experienced. I am sure I would have ended up divorcing him sooner or later. I doubt there will ever be a day that Parker will fully understand the magnitude of his mistakes. But at least he'll continue to regret what he's done. As he continues to pay for child support and spend every day in loneliness. My son and I have moved in with my parents after the incident. I feel blessed to have their support as well as Parker's parents who come and visit every other month. I would be lying if I said I have no concerns for our future, and I still feel sad about what happens sometimes. 
But with the support I get from my family, I hope to get over the sadness soon and concentrate on the good. There is no life without bumps anyway, and I'm sure I will get my fair share in the years to come. But as long as I have Skylar, I know I'll be able to overcome them. He may not have a father in his life, but I will make sure to love him twice as more and live a beautiful, fulfilling life with him.